Let's say you work out at home and you don't go to the gym very often. Chances are you don't have access to some of the machines that are used to build your upper back, such as the lat pull down machine and some other rowing type of machines. So the question is, what are the best back building exercises that you can do at home? To better answer that question, we can look at a research that was done from the University of Wisconsin where they conducted an EMG analysis of eight different back building exercises to better determine which exercise or exercises most effectively activated the back muscles. So they took about 19 guys between the ages of 18 and 25, they hooked them up to EMG machines while they performed the following exercises. Now it's important to note that this study only measures muscle activation. If you're looking to build muscle, then you have to use hypertrophy principles. Now that can mean different things to different people, but from a general standpoint, you, what you want to try to do is you want to lift anywhere between 75 to 85% of your one rep max. You want to fail anywhere between six to 12 reps while conducting three to five sets of each exercise and also progressively increasing the weight as you get stronger. Let me give you an example. Using battle ropes is going to stimulate your deltoid muscles a lot more than performing dumbbell shoulder presses. However, dumbbell shoulder presses is going to stimulate a lot more muscle growth than using battle ropes. It's studies like this that we can use that provide us with some useful information for us to incorporate into our own training program. During the study, researchers found that the top three exercises that stimulated the middle trapezius muscle were the IYT raises, the inverted rows, and the barbell bent over row. However, they didn't really find any significant amount of difference in stimulation between these exercises. IYT raises are great exercises to incorporate for your upper back development and I can almost guarantee that 95% of the people who are watching this video don't even incorporate this exercise into their training regime. Not only does it uh, help you develop your middle trapezius muscle, it will also help your rear deltoid development and it also helps to improve your posture as well. Here's how they perform the exercise. They had the participants lie face down on a bench and then raise their arms overhead with palms facing each other. Then raise their arms overhead to form a Y with their thumbs facing the ceiling. And then they raise their arms laterally with palms facing downward. They held each contraction for about a second or two. Now I like supersetting this exercise with another exercise like let's say pull-ups and I like to use a little bit more resistance with this exercise so I'll demonstrate how I do these raises later in the video. Inverted rows are another great back building exercise you can do at home. It's important to note that the height of the bar in the study was about equal to the participant's hip. So these are usually done at home with something like two chairs and a broomstick or some arrangement like that. So this is something that's definitely doable in a home environment. Now in regards to the bent over row, another important point to make is that the participants raised the barbell toward their sternum. So they lifted the bar to a much higher position. Now, although I'm not a fan of barbell bent over rows because of my back issues, I still perform them on a bench with dumbbells as you'll see later in the video. As you can see from this study that the top three exercises that stimulated the lower trapezius muscle were also the IYT raises as well as the bent over rows 
and the lap pulldown. The inverted row, however, came in at a close fourth on the list. Since most of us don't have a lap pulldown machine at home, doing the first set of exercises I originally mentioned should have you covered. Now, having a nicely developed trapezius muscle will not only enhance your posture as I mentioned, but will also give your back that muscular look, as opposed to the lat muscles which give your back that big wide look. During this investigation, the top three exercises that stimulated the lat muscles were first and foremost the pull-up, and then the chin-up, and also the bent-over row. The lap pull-down came in as fourth on the list, but inverted rows again was right behind lat pull-downs. Now seeing how well inverted rows performed in this study suggests that it may be a really great substitute for lat pull-downs when a lap pull-down machine is not available. As you can see, there doesn't exist one exercise that can broadly cover your back development. However, you can use studies like these to provide you with some useful information so that you can customize a back routine to best fit your needs. A few other important comments to make is that there are a lot of exercises for your back development that were not included in this study. So this study is not saying that these are the best exercises overall. Another thing to note is that the TRX rows in this study had the lowest amount of stimulation, which actually doesn't lend it justice. The reason why I say that is because the TRX rows, uh, the TR, sorry, the TRX row exercises that they were doing in this study were only done in one angle. And we know that TRX suspension straps can be adjusted to any height. So you can adjust them high enough so that you're actually doing pull-ups, or you can adjust them low enough so that you can do inverted rows. And lastly, this study really didn't cover lower back exercises such as deadlifts. Uh, so be sure to incorporate some of those exercises in your routine so that you can stimulate and strengthen your lower back. So just to give you an example, Here's a pull workout routine that I just did yesterday that incorporates a lot of the exercises from this study into my routine. <laughs> 